Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your weekly tea, the weekly themes for the week of January 23rd. This is a general reading that is for any placement of Sagittarius in your natal chart. Just keep in mind it's general. We're going to look at the themes of the week and some of the details this week for you as well. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. This channel is just for Libra and Sagittarius. So if you have those two placements in your chart, you came to the right place. I'll read for you here every couple of days. Link to my website for private tarot and to check out human design readings and reports. All that's down in the description below. All right, let's begin. Uh, I think you're going to deal with a lot of interesting things this week, Sagittarius. Um, there's also, I think it's worth mentioning, some pretty interesting aspects happening in astrology and the solar system. Mercury is just going to have little tiffs and fights with virtually every planet in the solar system. So <laughs> watch travel, watch communication, check your Saturn placement, check your Chiron placement. That'll show you your strengths and weaknesses. Uh, I did put a post up in the community tab. All I can say is gird your loins, people. It's going to be one of those weeks. But the thing about Sagittarius is... is um, you guys are usually really good at handling conflict in that um, you don't like to fight and you will focus on dynamic creative solutions. You are very forward thinking. I can see that you are thinking about the future a lot right now. I do think some good stuff is going to come in, but I also think that this week you're going to deal with some less than cooperative people. I also see that there may be a struggle to learn or use technology. And you may have a power struggle with one or two people in particular. <laughs> I also think that someone may show you their weak spot or their weakness this week. What you choose to do with that knowledge once you have it is up to you. Spirit is watching. Trust your intuition. For sure. Trust your intuition this week. You will need to go on instincts. Well, they wanted me to start with this deck, the Divine Dog. I also see creativity, play your own song. But what came out is Wild Dog, answer the call to dream big. There are themes I can see through your human design activations and through the Divine Dog where I feel like uh, the end of January you do want to be kind of a wild dog. You want to be wild and free. You are listening for information. You do want to answer a call. You may get a call that makes you suddenly feel really good. It may feel like a breakthrough. It's attached to a dream. You are dreaming big right now. You're ruled by Jupiter. This is pretty normal for you. I get the sense that some of you really would rather sing your own song, play your own song, and not be one of the worker bees in a scenario anymore, especially with your human design activations, because two channels came out for you. Uh, the channel of the wavelength, which is about talents, and then the channel of structuring, which is about individuality. So she's working really hard to learn how to play this ukulele. I, and it came in the reverse, too. This is about depth and skill. Um, this channel holds the drive to practice consistently and enthusiastically until a skill is formed. So you may be doing that right now. And if the skill is mastered, the individual can surpass the mechanics of their practice and truly express themselves uniquely. The 16th gate in our body brings enthusiasm to practice while the 48th gate digs deep into intrinsic resources within the body. So there's a great deal of zeal and discipline and instinctual memory uh, when this channel is activated. And it's through these qualities that skill is consistently engaged and focused in the pursuit of a greater mastery and a technical ability. So this is about what you're doing. I do think that some of you are trying to pursue something to a greater mas a mastery. Some of you might not be ready to uniquely express the way you want to right now. Some of you may feel like you're forced to just learn a song and play along. That may be a struggle. You may have a slow pro progress in a learning structure or environment this week. You may also be stuck in a role that you don't want to be in. Teaching 
on learning something new, maybe a struggle this week. I think that some of you do want to transcend out of a role that you're in in some way. There may be a desire to transcend to some kind of a technical ability. Again, I'm hearing struggles with learning a computer system as well. I think that you guys this week may face scenarios where everyone else is doing it a certain way and it that way isn't working and you would like to uh, I think you might rock the boat while you're standing in it to a degree because the channel of structuring is about individuality and when someone with this channel crosses our path or this channel is activated within us we have this ability to prevent the absorption of damaging information from flowing in. You may receive a lot of criticism this week and you're going to need to focus on your own inner truth. I think that you want to give your own intellect and, intellect and insights to a scenario, but you're going to have to drown out naysayers this week. Other people may try to prevent your progress as well. Drown out uh, self-criticism also. I do think that you guys want to kind of like break some kind of a glass ceiling and uniquely express and be very niche and be very individualistic. But, and you're also going to have a lot of really good uh, ideas and insights this week. And you're going to have very strong opinions about the concepts of things and how that and, and what other people's ideas and concepts, how those ideas and concepts kind of um, influence you. If you have an open head and Ajna center that's undefined in your body and in your human design, be mindful not to absorb the thoughts and ideas of others because they're going to clash with your own. Your big challenge is going to be your identity center, which is our heart center. And it's coming out as undefined uh, this week. So even if you have a defined heart center, which means you're putting that energy out into the world, you're not absorbing anything, you will feel like you're absorbing quite a bit. And you might feel like other people are really going to push their own identity and their life direction onto you. Issues with liver and blood as well. Issues with love and direction. You may feel like you don't know what direction you're going in. You may feel like you're seeking love. I also feel like you very much want to be cared for and supported in a scenario this week, but you might feel like other people are going to put their wants and needs emotionally before yours. So you're going to have to do a lot of self-care this week. It could be somewhat of a triggering and frustrating week in some ways for you. But I ultimately think if you do listen to your instincts, because you do want to sing your own song, you don't want to be forced to play with the orchestra or the band. You'd like to solo in some way. Anything that's not going right is just an opportunity for you to really dream big and answer a new calling because you may feel kind of stuck in a scenario that you're in because you are the turtle and the eagle in reverse. Slow and steady wins the race. Turtle reminds us it's uh, not a sprint, it's a marathon. There will be slow progress for you this week. I think that some of you would like to fly the coop. I think that some of you would like to get a higher perspective, but you may be very bogged down in what you're doing this week in details. You may be choosing to stay in a scenario when you'd really rather fly the coop and leave. Mm -hmm. I see it being, I see you handling it really well though. But there is going to be some kind of a breakthrough. Um, not everyone around you is going to be like glomming onto you, forcing you to stay in a role that you don't want to be in. I think that you may be pushed and challenged in some way by some people in your life too. How can I put it? I can feel it. It's hard for me to put it into words. Your need to feel love and support as part of your own identity may leave you susceptible to other people like influencing you, conditioning you. You're going to have to drown out anyone that displays narcissistic or codependent tendencies as well. 
but you will have some support because we do have friendliness showing up at the bottom of the Osho Tarot Oracle deck. The message that came out of that deck was trust, silence, breakthrough, maturity, and success and friendliness. Some of you will decide to keep your mouth shut about something and or maybe there has been a lack of communication or hearing something that you've been waiting to hear. You may hear it this week and then your instincts are going to kick in and say, okay, it's my move now. Uh, silence may be broken this week. And it could be a good interaction. It will create a breakthrough. You've trusted in the silence up until now, but there, I think there will be some kind of a breakthrough. It could be with a Libra or a Taurus. I'm also hearing Aries. Maybe Virgo as well. It will lead to a success. I do think that at least one person in your life that you've struggled to have mature communications and a mature development, that will, like they'll turn it around. Uh, I'm hearing someone that hasn't always been very easy to get along with may surprise you and be kind and good to you this week. And when you're mature and, and only speak when necessary, that will lead to better communication and success this week in some ways. Mm -hmm. In some ways, it will. But <clears throat> this is what you look like in the tarot. And I just feel like the shit is going down around you. Because what you're going to look like this week, Sagittarius, is the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> this card's been following a lot of signs around lately, Sag and Libra in particular. The Eight of Pentacles, Strength. The Page of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Tower. Okay, Leo and Scorpio here. Well, I think you're going to mind your own business and close your mouth when necessary. Some of you may be working with animals. Some of you may be working outdoors. Some of you may, may be working with your hands. The Eight of Pentacles does have themes of the channel of wavelength, of depth and skill. I do think that some of you will keep at something. Progress may be difficult, but practice does make perfect for anyone that's working on something. I do get the sense that some of you would rather not be doing what you're doing. You'd like to do something more fun. You'd like to do something more unique, individual, creative, sexy. That might not happen for you this week. I think it won't, but I think that you're going to handle yourself as best as you can. Strength only comes when it's called for. You may be being watched. You may feel like somewhat of a novice this week. You may be nervous this week. You may need, to, you are continuing to be curious about your environment. You will be gathering a lot of information or someone is curious about you and your silence. Cause look how the, the Eight of Pentacles is being watched. Some of you feel like you can't say something right now. You've also got to deal with a scenario that maybe you're kind of sick of, but you are making some progress. I just heard it's career. It's like, well, I mean, it's a good resume builder for me, but I do think you want to advance and progress more quickly than you are. But I do think you may get some good communication this week that'll just uh, brighten your mood as well. And whatever it is you hear will make you immediately think, okay, I, I am definitely feeling more positive about the future. And furthermore, I anticipate something big happening. And you know, whatever that is may cause a lot of chaos and a massive shift. However, it might be necessary because with turtle here and eagle in reverse, I already know you don't like that. And again, you're dreaming big. So, okay, this week, just anticipating more and trying to turn your back on anything that's not working out for you. Again, good news and a breakthrough will come in that may make you feel like, okay, very, very soon, massive change is coming for me. But not this week. Not this week. And also, you're going to feel really challenged. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. I also heard that Something about money and having it all. You're going to have to be realistic about money, finances, and assets for sure. 
I think you may feel challenged. I think you may feel threatened, but you do have the high road. I also hear that you may be offered a raise or a promotion, but more work will come with it that you do not want. And uh, your ideas are going to be challenged as well. You also may have to say, no, I want more than that. I expect more than that. <clears throat> the environment does not look cooperative. The animal totems and oracles for your environment are rabbit in reverse and fire ant in reverse. I'm like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> well, there's going to be a lack of cooperation around you. I also think that, again someone in your environment that you consider an enemy or a frenemy may give away their weakness. Like the dragon will show you the one scale that's missing in their armor. This was stupid of this person or these people because they're not nice and they're not cooperative. They make you nervous. They have no trust and it's not fun to be around them. They don't play well with others because fire ants work as a team and they are rather efficient. It's shocking what ants can do. So there is anger in the environment. There is short tempers in the environment. There is a lack of cooperation. There be maybe like ladder climbing, backbiting, competitive, not cooperative energy. Also, I think someone isn't listening and they will tell you something that it's it's weird i'm hearing it someone may tell you exactly how to hurt them this week and it's not in your nature to want to hurt people or be vengeful but when you hear this information you're like huh, okay i anticipate the shit going down really soon and that may be a breakthrough that you were actually looking for you're going to see people's uh, shadow sides this week in the environment, we have death, Scorpio here, the seven of cups, the hangman, the two of cups, and the five of wands. Okay, if this is a projection of you into the environment, I think that you want something to change very quickly, but I think that you probably know it's not going to change quickly. It's a slow and subtle transformation. You may feel kind of stuck. This may be someone else around you. They could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. They may come to you and talk to you. I kind of feel like this might play out in the workplace. I'm also hearing with school, one of your kids' schools, where it's like, I don't know, something is ending. There is a death happening, but it's not fast like the tower. It's slow like Plutonian energy death. It's subtle. Someone in your environment may need to really get in touch with their own motivations and what kind of transformation they really want and why. They are unsure. They are overwhelmed. You may be unsure and overwhelmed. I think they feel kind of stuck and you do. But I also can see that there's an opportunity to work through some BS with one particular person or another person or a group of people. <sighs> There's like this one person at work that you will really get along with. They may try to talk you into staying in a scenario that you'd rather not. There is going to be competitive energy in the environment this week, but there may be this one person that sees your point of view and will <clears throat> like help you get through something challenging. There is definitely a need for transformation and change, but... I'm also hearing that a boss or someone else will be like, look, we don't have any choice but to do what we're doing, and that includes you. This will frustrate you. The mutual energy and the challenge is Cobra in reverse with Owl. Oyster is here withholding the golden egg, your true gifts, and the unicorn. All right. You know what, Sag? <laughs> You tricky bastards, you. I'm actually grinning for you. I'm loving it. Who has the Gemini in their chart or the Aries? Mm -hmm. Maybe some Scorpio too. I hear you. It's like you know the answer this week. You know the truth. You should be the boss. You should be in charge. But you're not. It's like the cobra is about when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You may be having a power struggle with someone. You may also have a person trying to tell you what to do. They're very smart, but they're terrible in a leadership role. 
you may also bow out of taking the lead in some way and saying, I have all the information, but y'all aren't ready to hear what I have to tell you. So I'm going to keep it to myself. The best parts of me and my unique gifts and talents and treasures will be served best el elsewhere. I'm going to keep my pearl to myself because none of you are gonna do anything constructive with my knowledge anyways. So yeah, go fuck yourself. Meanwhile, I'm gonna answer a different calling and dream big. I do feel like you think in a current scenario this week, your wings are clipped. You'll have a good breakthrough, but there's gonna be communication issues and a struggle to learn something. Watch out for a power struggle. Watch out for someone always trying to get you to see their point of view and keep you from doing something more quickly than you'd like to. But that breakthrough, some people will behave more maturely this week than they typically do, but not everyone. There will be a breakthrough that's meant to lead you to something new, Sagittarius. Don't give the best parts of yourself to a scenario that's just keeping you chained to something <clears throat> when you'd really rather be doing something else. You will have to drown out criticism. You will have to practice self-love. And again, if you're in a scenario that's taking you a long time to achieve some kind of a success, just keep at it and drown out the criticism, okay? Because I do think that some of you will be tempted with the undefined G center and identity center. Some of you will be tempted to do something that goes against who you really are as a person just to feel love and support. Hang on to the friendly people because they're the ones that are going to stick with you until the end. I do think you will withhold information that... And you won't open up and share it unless you believe it will really be put to good use. Be prepared for challenges this week. Your instincts will guide you. All right, Sag, hopefully that all came out. I was like all jumbled. I was getting a lot of messages at once. That's the weekly tea. Those are the themes for January 23rd week of. I hope it resonates and I hope it helps. Link to the website for private readings is also down in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.